Hello, Instinctive Actors. This is Joe Kelly from the Instinctive Actors Society. And <clears throat> today we will be talking about how to fall in love with your acting partner um, when maybe you don't especially love them. I often hear actors come to me and they're in a movie or in a show where um, they're living this mad love story with um, the other character and actually in the real world um, they don't love that person or worse they don't like that person at all and um, and that's that's you know an issue for the actors who want to really be authentic and if you really want to not push, not fake, be real, live the real thing, um, there's really some gap to bridge there with not relating to someone and yet having to live a mad love story with them or, or just a normal love story with them or a relationship with them. How do you bridge that gap? Therefore, it doesn't work for you if you can't relate to the person that's right in front of you, to the actor himself, how are you going, or herself, how are you going to experience that sensation of love it it can be frustrating and and the result can be bad if you don't find a way to do that so um so let me explore a couple of um options for you there's one really easy thing um that you can do that doesn't take much time and it can really work for you when um it has to be immediate it has to be in an audition room it has to be for a short scene for someone you're just meeting on set. You can work on one, choose one little centimeter of their whole instrument that you can relate to. Even if it's this, this little part, even if you hate the whole thing that you see and you can't relate to it, find just one microscopic molecule in their body that you can relate to and decide to com fall completely in love with it. As a rule, you definitely, if you have a, a wife or a husband, a relationship, a boyfriend or a girlfriend type of role, you really want to raise the bar and make sure that it's not just a relationship, it's the relationship of your life, the love of your dreams, your soulmate, etc. Because then uh, there's more at stake, it's more important for you and it gets juicier than just being a random relationship, right? So that's one thing. If you can just find one little piece of something, a piece of finger that you can relate to and connect with and then talk to that part of the actor. Don't try to like the whole thing. Decide that you're gonna like this nail or this bit of finger, for example, or this bit of nose or this hair and then just go for that and only that and let all your molecules relate to that molecule and have a huge love story in that moment. And that's a quick and fast way to be able to show up authentically um, when you don't have time in the love story. Another thing that you can do when you're booked for a part and you know that you're going to have a love story or a relationship with someone, um, even if you don't get to rehearse or meet them before the shoot, definitely do your due diligence. Research them, IMDB them, find their real, their picture, and give yourself the time to fall in love with them before. And again, even if you don't actually relate to them, find a little something in there that you can go full on for. And that will be enough for you to just speak to that part of the person, that best part that you've identified, that you love, you can disregard the whole rest of them. If you can just focus on that part, you'll be able to show up and be fully in love in the moment. Even if you're dealing with a relationship that has conflict, you want to establish that there was love at a certain point. So establishing something that has happened. So if you have a little bit of time, you really want to Ask yourself if um, the, the, the origin of your relationship, don't take anything for granted. Okay, she's my wife, well, that's my wife. No, go back, close your eyes, it can go really fast, but take a little bit of time and allow your imagination to tell you, where did you meet? And make that moment a 20 out of 10. Don't make it a random, okay, I met her in a bar. What's, 
what's the most amazing way that you could meet a woman or a man? What would be the best possible way? Imagine that. How was the first kiss? Same thing. Make it, make it a 20 out of 10. What was would be the most amazing first kiss? Where is it? Who asked him or you or her or you? And make it, I mean, the scenario that you wouldn't even dream of in life, like magic, Prince Charming scenario. Then when was the first time you said, I love you? Same thing. Go for 20 out of 10 and make it the craziest, most unimaginable ideal love story same thing for when you first make love same thing for when you get married same things for when you decide to have kids so really create plant the seeds of your relationship so that you actually have a relationship right imagine it and it doesn't um, need to be with someone specific I, specific I never recommend substitutions just just create that person, let the images come to you, whatever their face is, and if you know who they are or if you can find out who they will be, um, then relate to their picture, relate to their reel, relate to what you can find about them online. And if you can do more than that, you know, ask the production or the director to have a meeting with the, the actor or the actress that you're going to be in love with. So another great one is, and especially if actually there's some animosity and conflict, because sometimes and oftentimes there is, no matter what level, um, you can have to play a, being a in a relationship with someone, and especially in TV shows, there can be hate or um, you know bullying and stuff between you guys that's really not working. So for you to be able to show up um, and be responsible for your role and, and, and really go for what's written, um, there is something that you can create and some intimacy that you can create when you're playing together with pillows. So um, really being in the, in the same room and not necessarily rehearsing a scene, but just improvising something with pillows in between you so that you can really get into each other's physicality each in into each other's instruments so that you can start creating some comfort in touching each other in you know hitting each other without hurting each other because when you spend a lot of time with someone there's definitely that you know you have your bubble and you have their bubble and in between there's like a bubble that you create together and being able to create that physically with the person would be great and let's let's imagine that you can't meet them you've tried you've made the calls you've called the production the director even been tried to reach out to the actor or the actress and you can't meet there's no time or they're not willing or whatever then then improvise it in your bedroom and and make it as if they were the person so that you're creating a world as a couple with that other person that you'll be able to live into when you're actually shooting but let's review if you have no time, just really um, decide to, you know, unconditionally and fully and obsessively love one little part of their anatomy, even if it's one cell. Just go for that and relate to that. And that's who you speak to. That's who you fight with. That's, that's the person you love so that you can actually experience real love and you don't have to fake it. Um, research them as much as you can, try to connect with them, try to talk to them so that you can start developing and weaving the relationship for yourself. You can decide what you're going to focus on. Um, create some um, context for your relationship, uh, how you met, first kiss, first sex, first love, all of that but really making it a 20 out of 10 or a hundred out of 10, make it the most amazing story. Um, and yes, for the physicality, just play with pillows. And if you can't see each other, really be in a room, in your room, in your bed, and, and just play with that pillow to kind of create the bubble that you guys will play in. These are the suggestions that I have for you guys to really be able to play from a to be in love from a place of authenticity rather than to have to fake it right because that's never um, a great experience and it's never actually is impact is impactful it doesn't create the results um, that you're actually looking for that will impact your audience because because people know that you're not really in love and they can feel it so create that for yourself be responsible for that 
so that you can be in that sensation of love. Even if you, you know, love someone else, just create that love. I'll be back every Thursday as your host in the Instinctive Actor Society to talk about topics that you guys find interesting. So don't hesitate to um, post your topics in the group, to ask your questions, to bring in your real life situations so that we can address it. So that's what this um, Instinctive Actor Society is about, to have real, deep, meaningful discussions about what actually matters to you. So I'm all ears. I'll look for your questions later and I'll get back in the group. All right. Thank you guys. Bye.